Have you ever wondered what type of investor you are? Are you drawn to the tangible assets like multifamily real estate, or do you prefer the steady income stream of dividend investing? Today, we're going to explore those very questions in depth. We'll delve into the world of investing, focusing on two distinct types, multifamily real estate investing and dividend investing. Think about it for a moment. Are you captivated by the physicality of real estate, by the bricks and mortar, the potential for growth and the security of a tangible asset? Or are you more inclined toward the steady, predictable income that dividends offer, the thrill of the stock market, the appeal of earning money from money? These are not just idle questions. They're key to understanding your investment style, your risk tolerance, and the path you want your financial future to take. So, keep these thoughts in mind as we dive into the comparison between multifamily real estate investing and dividend investing. To start, let's dive into multifamily real estate investing. This is a type of investment where you purchase properties that have more than one unit, such as duplexes, triplexes, or apartment complexes. The idea is that you, as the landlord, earn income from multiple tenants, which can provide a steady stream of cash flow. Now, let's talk about the benefits. One of the main advantages of multifamily real estate investing is the potential for higher income. Since you're collecting rent from multiple tenants, you can often earn more than you would from a single-family rental property. Moreover, having multiple units also means that if one tenant moves out, you still have income from the other units to cover your expenses. Another benefit is that multifamily properties tend to be more cost-effective to manage. Think about it. You're dealing with one property, one roof, one lawn, and so on. It's much more efficient than managing multiple single-family homes spread across different locations. Now let's not forget the potential risks. The most obvious one is vacancy. If multiple units become empty at the same time, it can significantly impact your income. Additionally, multifamily properties can be more expensive to purchase and maintain. You might also face more complex legal and management issues compared to single-family properties. To illustrate the potential of multifamily real estate investing, let's take a look at some examples. Consider the case of a savvy investor who purchased a rundown fourplex, renovated it, and managed to double the rental income. Or, think about the owner of a small apartment complex who implemented cost-saving measures, resulting in increased net operating income and property value. These stories show us that with careful selection, due diligence, and effective property management, multifamily real estate investing can indeed be a lucrative venture. However, it's not a walk in the park. It requires substantial initial investment, ongoing maintenance, and a keen understanding of the rental market. So, multifamily real estate investing can offer significant returns, but it also comes with a unique set of challenges. Now, let's shift gears and talk about dividend investing. Dividend investing is a strategy that focuses on buying shares in companies that regularly distribute dividends to their stockholders. These dividends are typically a portion of the company's earnings, paid out to shareholders on a regular basis. This strategy is often favored by investors who are looking for a steady income stream in addition to potential capital gains. It's a bit like having a rental property, but instead of receiving rent, you're receiving dividends. And instead of dealing with tenants and maintenance, you're dealing with stocks and market trends. Now the benefits of dividend investing are quite appealing. First and foremost, it provides a regular income stream which can be reinvested to buy more shares or use for personal expenses. Over time, this reinvestment can lead to compounding growth, which is the secret sauce of wealth creation. Moreover, dividend-paying companies are usually well-established, with a history of generating profits. This can make them less volatile than growth stocks, providing a level of stability to your portfolio. But like any investment strategy, dividend investing isn't without risks. The biggest risk is that a company could cut or eliminate its dividend. This could happen if the company's profits decline or if it decides to reinvest its earnings back into the business instead of paying them out to shareholders. This can cause the stock price to drop and your income to dry up. For instance, many companies in the oil and gas sector may slash their dividends when oil prices plunge. But on the flip side, there are companies like Coca-Cola, which have increased their dividends for over 50 consecutive years, providing a reliable income stream for their shareholders. Ultimately, successful dividend investing requires careful stock selection and a long-term perspective. It's not about chasing the highest yield, but rather about seeking out reliable, sustainable dividends from companies with strong financial health. 
As you can see, dividend investing also offers potential rewards but with a different risk profile. Now that we've laid out the basics, it's time for the great comparison. We're going to put multifamily real estate investing and dividend investing side by side and see how they stack up. Let's start with returns. Multifamily real estate investing can potentially offer high returns, especially if the property appreciates in value over time. This appreciation is over and above the regular rental income that these properties generate. However, it's important to note that these returns are not guaranteed. The real estate market can be unpredictable, and property values can go down as well as up. On the other hand, dividend investing provides a steady stream of income through dividend payments. These payments can be reinvested to buy more shares which can lead to compounding returns over time. However, the returns from dividend investing are typically lower than those from real estate investing. Also, while dividend payments can be fairly predictable, they are not guaranteed, as companies can choose to reduce or eliminate their dividends at any time. Now, let's talk about risks. Real estate investing involves a number of risks, including market risk, liquidity risk, and tenant risk. Market risk is the risk that property values will decline. Liquidity risk is the risk that you won't be able to sell your property quickly when you need to. Tenant risk is the risk that your tenants will not pay their rent or will damage your property. Dividend investing also has its share of risks. There's market risk, the risk that the value of your shares will decline. There's also company risk, the risk that the company will perform poorly and cut its dividend. And there's inflation risk, the risk that the purchasing power of your dividends will decrease over time. Next, we have time commitment. Real estate investing can be time consuming. It involves finding and buying properties, managing tenants, and maintaining properties. On the other hand, dividend investing can be relatively passive. Once you've chosen your stocks and set up a reinvestment plan, you can sit back and let your money work for you. Finally, let's consider the different skill sets required for each investment type. Real estate investing requires knowledge of property values, rental rates, and property management. It also requires negotiation skills and the ability to assess and manage risk. Dividend investing, on the other hand, requires knowledge of financial analysis, company performance, and market trends. It also requires patience and the ability to stay calm during market fluctuations. As we can see, both investment types have their own set of advantages and challenges. The choice between them depends on your financial goals, your risk tolerance, and the amount of time and effort you're willing to put into your investments. To wrap things up, let's summarize the key differences between multifamily real estate investing and dividend investing. First, the nature of the investment differs significantly. Multifamily real estate is a tangible asset. It's something you can see, touch, and even live in, if you so choose. It's an investment that's physically present in the world. On the other hand, dividend investing involves buying shares in a company. While you technically own a piece of that company, it's not something you can physically touch or see. It's an abstract concept represented by a stock certificate or a line on a screen. Second, the income generation methods are distinct. Multifamily real estate generates income through rent. You have control over the rental rates and you can increase them over time to keep pace with inflation. Dividend investing, meanwhile, generates income through dividends paid out by the company. These dividends depend on the company's profit and the board's decisions, factors that are out of your control. Third, the risk profiles vary. Multifamily real estate involves dealing with tenants, maintenance issues, and market fluctuations. However, it also offers some level of control and predictability. Dividend investing involves market risk, company risk, and industry risk. It can be more volatile and unpredictable, but it also offers the potential for higher returns. So, who might prefer each type of investment? Well, if you're hands-on, enjoy dealing with people and property, and prefer a tangible, controllable investment, multifamily real estate might be your cup of tea. If you prefer a more passive investment, are comfortable with abstract concepts, and are willing to ride out market volatility for potentially higher returns, Dividend investing might be more your style. Remember, the best investment for you depends on your individual goals, risk tolerance, and skills. Happy investing! If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.